Uh, hi everyone, I am uh, Daniel Romero Alvarez from Ecuador and in this tutorial I am going to, to show how to develop a background similarity test um, using the ENM tools software from Warren. Um, according to the authors, this test tries to compare if two species are more or less similar than expected based on differences in the environmental background in which they occur. If you need more information about uh, how these, uh, w which are the theoretical principles of this test, you must read the papers that I will put in the description. Before beginning, we are going to assume that you already have installed uh, ENM tools software uh, in your computer. It's a really a straightforward process. It's not difficult. And uh, you can download it from the links on the description. And also, we will assume that you already have installed Maxent software. The, the installation of this other uh, program is not difficult. And this is necessary because ENM tool software works together with Maxent to perform this analysis. Well, for the next step, we should install the last version of Java. Uh, we go to java.com and click on download and then uh, we follow the steps. Uh, we should re uh, leave the program to be installed in the recommended folder. It usually, usually is this folder and we should copy this directory. Well, for the, next, for the next step, we should go to the uh, main folder of the computer, here, computer in this case. And here we go to right click, uh, properties, and then advanced system settings, and then environment variables. And here in this new window, we locate the path variable. And here you will have another path directory because I already made this process. So uh, we go click on edit and here we paste the path directory, the path directory where um, java.x file is and then click on OK. OK. Well, the next step is to open finally the ENM tools software. Uh, and then uh, we are going to go to options and ENM tools options where we are going to tell the program where are some of our important files. So first we go to layers directory and specify where are our environmental variables. Um, uh, to copy the path directory, it's far more better than search it in that window. Windows. Uh, you copy the directory, and then you specify it. You paste it here, and then OK. And that's where our environment environmental files are. Well, now let's go into a specified or output directory. This is a very important part of the process because it will prevent the second common error when performing this test. So uh, to do it, I will open my folder where I have all my information and uh, create a new folder that it will, it will be called results. And inside this folder, I will create another one that it will be called plots okay and I will copy this directory the directory of the results folder and remember you have to create the folder called plots you can see more about this error in the end section of this video um, then you open the somewhere and then you paste the directory where you are going to uh, obtain your results. 
For the next step, we should specify where our max and that jar file is. And th this is very easy. You click on max and, and then we select where have our max and max and that jar file. That in my case is this one. Open. And then click on save options. Then finally, we can go to uh, specify our max and options here. And we can choose our regularization parameter. And if we want a uh, rock plot or if we want pictures of the ENMs developed by Maxen, or if we need uh, to remove the du duplicates of our occurrences, or things like that. And then finally, we are going to do the, the, the test. So please do not forget to click on save options every time you change these configurations because if you close the program you will uh, lose all your, your specifications and you will have to do it again. Uh, so let's go to hypothesis testing and then to background tests. Well, after all these steps, finally we are going to perform the test. Here we are going to specify the species occurrences of one of our species, in this case species A. A good practice is to uh, put uh, here the directory of the file, so you should save some time instead of searching for the files. So here we put the CSV occurrences file of species A. And we are going to compare these occurrences against the background ASCII file of species B. So here we put a species B. And then we are going to select the number of replicates for the test to run uh, in the tutorial guide of uh, Warren. He recommends 100 replicates, but uh, for saving us time, we are going to select 10. And here, we should put the number of occurrences of the background species, in this case, of species B. And in my case, the number is 575. And then we put Add Analysis. We can also put uh, we can also uh, put check in binary predictions using minimum training presence, and then we can put and then we can put go. And as you can see, the program will automatically uh, open the Maxen software. That's why we should uh, specify the, the, the path directory of maxen.jar file. And if you do all the previous step, you will not have any problem uh, to reach this point. Uh, and then we should wait to the test to finish. Well, then after some time the uh, test is finished and we should go to check our uh, output folder and here we can see all the analysis made and the important file is this one that it's called, uh, it has the name of the analysis performed, in this case A against B species. And we open it and here as you can see, is uh, it's also a CSV, a comma separated file, and you can see that the first uh, column represents the I, uh, I index. The second column represents the D index, and the third column represents the relative rank. Um, so that it will be everything for this tutorial. And after this, I am going to speak a little about the two errors that we prevented by doing all these steps.
Well, about error uh, number, about the so-called error number one, uh, this error happened because uh, ENM2 software ca couldn't open the java.x file. So that's uh, why, uh, as we saw, we should specify the path directory of uh, java.x file. Um, you will see in the console of uh, ENM2 software, uh, uh, Windows similar uh, like this. Uh, I am showing the screens because I had this error, but I already solved it. And you will see an error window uh, like this. And here, the name of the error is 5302. And I googled this error in the web and I found some forums discussing it, but with no solution. Uh, so, um, this tutorial will help to solve that problem. Finally, uh, this is error number two. Uh, this error occurred because uh, the, res the results directory folder does not have a plots folder inside. Uh, as you surely remember, our results folder, our original results folder, have this folder inside. And this prevents the error from happening. So I hope all these advices uh, will come in handy to continue with your uh, ecological niche modeling experiments. Good modeling.